How's it going, folks? Hope you're well. So, today we are driving another local lane to the Buxton area. This is Nether Brindlow, I believe it's called. It starts off tarmacked, uh, and I believe it segues onto unsurfaced road shortly. Give space for this chapter to pass. So yeah, I believe it starts off tarmacked and very shortly branches off to unsurfaced. I believe there's actually two lanes that almost lead off each other so I shall put the, uh, the details in the description as always. I'll put the trail wise, trail wise reference on there and uh, let's get into it. Actually, only about 10 minutes drive from my house. This one, so another local one. And uh, I'm keen to just gradually start radiating out from my postcode and exploring tracks a little bit further and wider. Once I've nailed all of the nearby ones, I guess. It's not been raining the last few days. So not even any puddles, really dry, loads of traction. <laughs> he says just as two puddles come into sight. <laughs> Good traction though, nice and dry overall. <clears throat> I'll not speak too soon because this is an unfamiliar lane to me. Don't know what it's gonna bring. At the moment it's uh, fairly steady and flat, a bit potholy. But nice views out to my right. Just to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's east. Which would mean we're heading roughly north at the moment. Give or take. If people are enjoying these videos and they're a benefit, I'll do more. Yeah, give us a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. For me, <coughs> I've been green laning, I'd say approximately four or five years. I can't actually remember. I was a passenger in my, brother, in my brother's vehicle for a couple of years before I, I actually got my own Land Rover. He drives a, a VW Synchro. Um, and I used to be a passenger in his vehicle before I started laning myself, so I suppose approximately five years, maybe a little bit longer. So the reason I mention that is because for me it's still a point of interest whereby, you know when you check a lane out online, you want to see what you're letting yourself in for. Like especially if you're on your own, I don't want to be on my own on a lane that like is proper treacherous. Like if I turned up to the start of this lane and it was, you know, like two foot deep ruts and loads of like knee deep mud um, and the lane looked totally abused and battered and you know, it's the sort of thing you're gonna get, you know, you shouldn't be doing on your own, never mind like, well, in general, never mind on your own. I wouldn't do it. <clears throat> but the thing is, I mean, trail wise is fantastic, and I always leave comments on there, but the comments do tend to be very um, limited, in that there's not a huge amount of description of the style of lane or what you can expect. And, and um, this for me is just a way of helping out both myself to remember the lanes that I've done, almost a bit like a diary. Um, but also for other people who are just perhaps looking at starting laning or people who are not even 
new to laying in, perhaps they're just looking to explore a new area and they want to know, hang on, like what's this lane? Is this something I can do in the car on the way home or is it something I need, you know, a five inch lift in 35 spot? So I think having that, that extra resource there is always useful. Um, shout out to you know low rangers that's always a channel that i look to they've got a fantastic catalog i don't even know the guy or guys or women whoever it is that runs it um but i think that's a fantastic channel and to just have that you know that resource there super useful and i suppose this is me just adding to that but for my local area so that we have that opportunity to you know double check when i was in uh elan valley recently it was nice to be able to just go online and just have a quick run through of a couple of the lanes and it's strange because i don't like to spoil the surprise <laughs> you don't want to spoil the surprise but at the same time you just want to check that it's you know roughly safe to do on your own so um with this one i didn't know anything about it i thought i'm just gonna have to throw myself in but you know i sort of in my head made that decision as i was driving onto the lane uh, it's nice, it's wide, it's open, there's space to turn around if needed, there's good traction. Um, so, uh, for me, it was a, an educated and safe gamble to take. So, there we go, can see the head of the lane. not want to bother driving in both directions because there's no real obstacles there obviously I will do if I'm sort of coming back this way but for the purposes of filming I think we've got the gist of what that one entails certainly doable for unmodified SUVs as long as you're careful pick your line there's a couple of those potholes which were actually pretty aggressive I just sort of picked my way and cruised over them but um, always recommend a little bit more caution when doing uh, things like that on your own um, and I'm pretty sure that we're just going straight but I'm going to stop the, uh, the camera there and uh, double check and uh, if that's that I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers all.